this is JB from Northern Lights over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And we are continuing the Age of Apocalypse campaign box scenario playthroughs. This time we are playing the Four Horsemen and we are playing with Magic with the pre build aggression deck. So, uh, just to say beforehand that this is my blind playthrough of this scenario. I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, so I might make some uh, game play mistakes during the game, but it is what it is. And just if you notice something, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. So in the future I can play it correctly. One thing more, uh, I am using the standard tree encounter set instead of the normal standard encounter set. So we have the pursuit by the past in play. So uh, we have already done the setup here. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. So as I said, uh, we have already done the setup. So I randomized the four horsemen. So uh, the uh, active villain is famine, next to war, then death, then pestilence. And uh, we have the setup, so we had to shuffle them and place them uh, randomly uh, from left to right. And the leftmost is the active villain. And then we flip this, and I haven't even read this. So we have a 12th uh, threat threshold and force response. After a villain activates, move the active counter to the next villain. And if this stage is completed, the players lose the game. So I'm just hoping uh, that with the aggression deck, Magic is able to defeat all of these four horsemen before they can defeat um, Magic, but we'll see. Uh, one thing I'm really excited uh, for is that Magic is basically the hero Gandalf from Lord of the Rings LCG or the Norman Withers uh, investigator from Arkham Horror, the card game. So we are uh, when we are in hero form, we are playing the top card of our deck uh, revealed. So that will be interesting. And there are a lot of uh, stuff in the deck I, that I can remember. It's been a while that I've looked at the cards. Uh, so that will key up of uh, playing cards from the top of your deck. Okay. So uh, we can start by drawing our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, keep in mind, when we are in Alter Ego, we don't see the top card of our deck. Okay, so we find Blood Gem. Uh, okay. That sounds interesting. We have Tempus. Then a cheap ally, I'll keep that. Clobber, uh, maybe not. Trios, another cheap ally. I think we're trying to get a lot of uh, as much allies into play as possible. Test the defense. Okay, that will keep. Uh, I'm getting rid of. Um, what did it say? Um, choose a spell in your discard. So we need to have spells in our discard. None of these are spells, which is a bummer. Uh, but I'm getting rid of Clobber and Full Body Charge for now. We'll draw two more cards. Maybe we get a spell. Okay, we got two. That's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I think first off, uh, we can't yet play Tempus. That's useless at the moment. So uh, just for the sake of getting a spell into my discard. Mm, 
Yeah, I'm playing the spiritual meditation. So action draw two cards, choose and discard one card from your hand. We get Colossus and spiritual meditation. So I'm discarding the basic spell. And why not? Uh, we'll play another one just to cycle our deck. Stepping disc and uh, magic scrawn. Okay. Well, uh, one we have to discard one. I think Colossus uh, will be a keeper. Not sure about triage. Okay, so I'm discarding triage. Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll flip to hero mode and uh, when you change to hero form uh, choose a spell in your discard pile and put it on top of your deck limit once per phase and play with the top card of your deck face up. Once per phase you may play the top card of your deck as if it was in your hand, reducing its resource cost by one. So I am placing one of the spiritual meditations on top of my deck, revealing it. So now I can play it again. So we are playing the spiritual meditation. And we draw two cards, we get another test of the defense and the power of aggression, which is great. Uh, so we are discarding this because we already have one in hand. And we know that magic barrier is coming. Uh, first off, we will play Colossus. And I will use... Uh, no, no, let's think about the order here. So I'm playing Blood Gem and I am exhausting it and taking two damage. That is because uh, now I get the wild resource which I can use to play test the defense. Then now I am the Axeman traded. I will play Tempus using the power of aggression. And um, um, are we happy with this? So I could attack uh, Famine. So uh, all of these guys read that uh, they can't be defeated uh, uh, as long as one of other villain has at least one hit point. So we need to get all of them down to zero and then we win straight. And they all have different uh, force responses uh, when they activate basically. So we need to look at those when we get to them. But... Um, Ah, uh, magic crown or I'm I'm not playing anything else. So so after you play an attack event, place one test counter here. If there are five test counters here, discard this card to deal five damage to an enemy. That's powerful. Okay, uh, we will just, because there's no threat, we'll just start hitting. So no, uh, we'll just start from Famine. So I'm hitting for three damage. And that's basically it. And well, uh, might as well, well, I'm discarding the Magic Crown and playing the Stepping Disc. Ready your hero. Choose a magic card in your discard pile, not named Stepping Disc, and put it on top of your deck. So we basically can put the crown back on top of our deck, so we'll draw it next round. So that's great. 
and now we can hit again so I'm hitting for another two damage so famine is already down to four and that is our turn uh, we ready up we draw back up to five we get uh, blood rage soul strike magic barrier magic crown and we had the colossus in our hand we'll go to, oh yeah one damage here we'll go to the villain face uh, we add one threat to the main scheme which is all the way over here and uh, famine uh, attacks okay i'm just uh, double checking so after a villain activates move the active counter to the next villain and uh, famine reads after so, after Famine attacks you, if she has at least one hit point, discard the top 10 cards of your deck. Okay. Uh, so, Famine attacks for one, plus... Just looking, do I have a way to ready next round? Oh, I have the magic barrier, so... Hmm, how do I want to do this? I want to play Colossus next round. Oh, uh, when an enemy attacks you, play Colossus from your hand, paying its resources and declare him as the defender. So I'm, I'm actually doing that. So uh, we uh, are getting two... So I'm playing Colossus. Colossus comes into play with tough and defense. And I'll use um, Blood Rage, Soul Strike and Magic Crown. And I, I'll keep the Magic Barrier because I can play it with... Uh, well, actually... Yeah, I'm playing the Blood Rage. Yeah, I'm keeping the Blood Rage in my hand. So... Yeah, uh, Colossus loses the tough. And after Famine attacks you, if she has at least... Okay, so we lose the 10 cards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We still have the top card of our deck showing. Okay. Then uh, this moves here. And uh, just double checking after a villain activates. Okay. So before we draw the encounter card, and it is a Horseman of Famine. Heal two damage from Famine and give her a tough status card. She activates against you. Oh my god. Well, that sucks. So we heal two damage from Famine, and Famine gains tough. And activates against... Okay, so now Famine activates, and this counter moves to death. But I'm defending uh, two versus one. Boost after this activation, that activates against you. Do not give a death a boost card for that activation. Okay, so we don't take any damage, but then death hits us. So this moves here. And after death attacks you, if he has at least one health, deal one damage to each character you control. So I'm defending with Tempos, because the Tempos is going to get killed either way. And uh, we don't reveal a card, so now we are already at Pestilence, but yeah, uh, we get one damage for each character we control. Okay, so that was a long first round, but that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we have only one card to play. Uh, as Pestilence is uh, the active 
Can we risk going to alter ego to heal a bit? So we could play the soul strike from the top of our deck. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm doing that. So I'm I'm getting rid of blood rage and using the blood gem to take two damage and playing the soul strike on to. Pestilence. We'll try to stun Pestilence. So unfortunately, our uh, the top card of our deck is not uh, physical or a wild resource icon. So we don't deal stun to to that uh, to, to Pestilence, but we'll deal four damage either way, and we get one counter. I'm actually. Putting these counters here, just because they, they look nicer. Actually, I don't have enough showing, so I'm just using the regular old counters. Okay, um, I think we need to go to Alter Ego to regroup, so going Alter Ego and reading everything and upkeep, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have a basic spell, full body charge, exorcism, stepping disc, soul sword and test the defense. Okay, and uh, we're, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here and pestilence schemes for two plus two is four. And we get an encounter. Uh, let's see. After pestilence attacks you, well, that wasn't an attack, so. Okay, uh, so we get an encounter card. It is release the hounds. Uh, the first copy of Hound revealed each phase gain search. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a, a copy of Hound and deals it to him themselves as a phase down encounter card. So it has five threat on it. Okay. And that is the villain phase. So this moves over here. And Famine is again next round. Okay, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, um, I think I'll need to... I could play full body charge. Um, yeah, I'm just checking because I can't remember if it gains piercing, but it doesn't. That would have been nice to get Famine out of the way. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to... Oh, Exorcism. That we might need. Okay, so we want to uh, use the stepping disc to ready, so I am healing. Uh, we are flipping, so I'll place a spell on top of my deck. So I'm taking the scrying on top of my deck. I am playing the scrying, so we take three cards, look at them, I'm grabbing the magic barrier, discarding step four, no, uh, discarding gold balls and shuffling this back into my deck. 
beasts are really lean deck already. It's uh, like turn uh, three only. So yeah, <clears throat> but we're uh, we got Limbo, but we already played a card from the top of our deck. So let's see. I have basic spell. Okay, is there a way to deal one damage? Okay, I want to play the Soul Sword. So I am using Tested Defense to play the Soul Sword. I am using... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I don't have the resources for the basic spell at the moment, so I'm playing that to play the Stepping Disc. Ready here, choose a magic card in your discard pile. Not name Stepping Disc and put it on top of your deck. Actually, yeah, back up. I'll use the Magic Barrier to play that, so I'll put the Magic Barrier on top of my deck. So we'll draw it for the next uh, villain phase. So we are ready. Now uh, my attacks gain piercing because we have a physical resource on top of our deck. We have plus one attack. So I'm hitting for three damage. So the tough doesn't matter. And we deal three damage. Then uh, I think we could Use the blood gem. And uh, full body, body charge to play basic spell and deal 3 damage to an enemy. So we get famine down to zero. Hopefully famine doesn't heal anymore. And uh, we haven't played any attack spells. Yeah, we played the Soul Strike last round, but that was the only one. Okay. So for Colossus, I think Colossus will jump block, so we're just going to hit. Uh, actually, we'll thwart for two. So, oh yeah, we have this in play. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll uh, I'll do it like this. So we'll thwart two from release the hound. Nah. Yeah, let's just get two off of the main scheme, and that is it. So we're ready up. We. Wrong deck. Draw back up to five. We have the exorcism. One, two, three, four. Okay. We have one card in our deck. Blood Rage, Mystical Armor, Limbo, Magic Barrier, and Exorcism. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Just have to hope we don't hit that many harms before we get rid of that. So famine activates against me. So attack of one plus Colossus defense uh, three. So Colossus is defeated and we have to discard 10 cards, but we only have one. So that's that. And um, this moves over to war. Okay, and uh, the top card is now Spiritual Meditation, which is great. It's basically a free draw for us. <coughs> and uh, uh, the encounter cards of this round is Rough Riders. When revealed, resolve the fourth response on the active villain as if it has at least one hit point and attack you. Move the active counter to the next villain and resolve its fourth response the same way. 
Ouch. <clears throat> so after let's so they are not attacking, but uh, we'll resolve the false response only. So afterward, we'll discard an upgrade or support you control. Yeah, the, this sucks. And uh, then this moves here. And uh, after death attacks you, if he has at least one hit point, deal one damage to each character you control. Okay, well that wasn't that bad. So that was that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, I think I'll start by playing the Spiritual Meditation. So we draw two cards. Uh, Colossus again, and Magic Barrier. Yeah, I'm uh, discarding... Yeah, I'll discard just the Blood Rage from my hand. I'm keeping the Colossus in my hand for next uh, enemy phase. I don't really need all of these Magic Barriers at the moment, so I'm using one of them to play Mystical Armor. So now my defense is plus one and I have retaliate one, which is really good. Then I am using... A magic barrier to play Limbo. And I'm using a blood gem to... And discarding, uh, damn, I'm, I'm one short. So I'm not using the blood gem this round. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll just need to attack. So I have. Uh, Attack of three, so I'm just hitting uh, Pestilence for three damage. And that is my turn. Already up, I'll draw back up to five. Uh, the power of aggression, scrying, blood raids, and exorcism, and I have Colossus. Villain phase starts, I'm using Limbo, so after the villain phase begins, exhaust limbo, swap card in your hand with top card of deck. Okay. So I'm using that. I want to have a physical resource on top of my deck. Uh, no, no, I actually. One, two, three, four, five. Did I? Oh yeah, this should be revealed. Okay, I think I don't need to... Well, I, I just want to use that, so I'm uh, doing this because I want to play the stepping disc next round. Okay, so... So, that, uh, yeah, we'll go the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, that activates against me, and I am playing Colossus to defend. And I'll use Exorcism. Damn, I would want to have the scrying in hand. Yeah, I'll keep the scrying in hand and discard these. Okay, so... Uh, I'll keep that because I want to ready and hit that again with magic. So we play Colossus and that activates so 2 plus 1 and 
we lose the tough. And then, count, oh yeah, this moves. And counter card is Horseman of War. Heal two damage from war and give him a tough status card and he activates against you. Uh, we can't heal any damage from... No, actually, yeah, war is in, in full health, so war activates, but before that... Um, Uh, after red attacks you, if he has at least one hit point, deal one damage to each character you control. Okay, so we take the damage. Mm -hmm. And Colossus takes one. Now I want to defend against war. So, I'm defending for 3 against 2 plus 1, we don't take any damage, but war takes one, uh, one, one from a retaliate. I need to put the retaliate counter here, so I remember that I have it. Okay, and uh, that is that round. Let's go to the... Yeah, we don't need to... Exhaust us. Yeah, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we are all exhausted, but I have the stepping disc. But I think... Yeah, I'm taking two damage. Using the stepping disc to ready. I'm picking the scrying, putting it on the top of my deck. I'm playing the scrying. We'll pick... Uh, We'll take the Blood Rage and we'll put this back on, uh, wait, how did it work? Discard one and put one on back on top of your deck. So I'm discarding Clubber and putting Exorcism on top. We need to start <laughs> removing some threats soon. Okay, well, uh, I am... Oh yeah, we don't need blood race because we don't have any any resources to play it uh, that's unfortunate so I'm just going to grab the clobber then for next round mm. okay so we will defeat pestilence we'll flip to alter ego and hope for the best And we, uh, I think I need to heal rather than defeat Pestilence right now. So I'm uh, healing for three. We are getting too low in our health. We're ready. And uh, we'll draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. We are at uh, 7 of 12 encounter card. No, the pestilence activates against us. 2 plus 2 is 4. We are getting awfully close at losing. We are at 11. That's bad. And the encounter. Oh, yeah, this moves to famine. And uh, Golden Horse attached to the villain with the fewest hit points without the aerial trait. Attached villain gets the aerial trait and is considered to have at least one hit point. Hero response after you attack, attached villain resolve its forced response as if it just attacked you, discard this card. Well, that is okay. 
Okay, that's that. So we are still in the game. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. I think we need to start playing a lot of cards that remove threat. I'm not worried about this, I'm worried about that one. Okay, so we'll start by... What is our current Dwarf 1? It's not worth Dwarfing. So I'm healing for 3. I'm flipping to hero mode. I am playing Clubber. I'll use Blood Gem. And uh, I'm discarding the other clubber because I can't play it this round. So we'll deal three damage here, and then we'll deal three da damage here to get rid of this. And uh, this now, after you attack, attached villain, uh, resolve its force response as if it just attacked you, discard this card. So we lose 10 cards from the top of our deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think I forgot to add one for uh, running out of my deck. So I'm adding it for this round. Yeah, it's, uh, just blanked out there and forgot it. Mm, okay, so that was Clubber. Then we'll play Spiritual Meditation. We draw two cards, discard one card. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm discarding this. Then I will play Exorcism. Oh yeah, what's the top card? Spiritual Meditation. I think I haven't played anything from the top of my deck yet, so I'm playing the Spiritual Meditation. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, I'm discarding the crown. Okay, let's see. We can ready. We can hit for three, then we can hit for two. And we can play Soul Strike for four. That's not enough to kill everybody. So yeah, we, we have to exorcism. Oh yeah, the top card is mental. That's just the right one we need. Okay, so I'm playing Exorcism using the Clobber and Gold Balls. So we remove uh, four threat. That's not that much, but we'll remove two more. We'll use Soul Strike to play Stepping Stones and ready. And uh, we'll put a uh, magic card on top of our deck. And it can't be stepping discs. Uh, I'll grab the magic barrier. And uh, we might as well hit for three here. 
Okay. And uh, we ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. We get an extra encounter card, so we are getting a lot of encounter cards this round, so it will be a punishing round. At least Famine doesn't have hit points, so we are not losing a bunch of cards again. Okay. We have Magic Barrier, Full Body Charge, uh, Stepping Disc, Basic Spell, and Test the Defense. Okay. We'll go to the Villain Phase. We add one threat here. Famine Attacks. I will not defend. Uh, one plus, uh, after this activation, Pestilence activates against you. Do not give Pestilence a boost card for that activation. Okay, so I'm taking one damage and one damage. And uh, this actually moves over here. And uh, yeah. And uh, We lose two health. And both would take damage, but they're already at zero uh, from the retaliate. Okay, and we get three encounter cards. This might end badly. Oh yeah, we have the magic barrier. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I'm, I'm going to save it for these. So first off, a time of famine. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme discards the top 10 cards of the their deck. And this has an acceleration icon. That's nasty, but uh, I think we need to try and win without... Uh, win and ignore this one. Second one is Sinister Strike. Uh, when revealed, hero plays one pursuit counter on the pursuit by the past. Then, if it has any counters on it, the villain attacks you. Okay, death is attacking, so I can play the. Uh, play the defend, uh, the magic barrier. So, I am using the test the defense to play magic barrier. So when an enemy initiates an attack, prevent three damage from this attack if the top card of your deck... Oh yeah, what is it? So I'm... Yeah, um, actually I sh should have changed that. So going uh, back a bit, I would have wanted to have a defense of three either way. Okay. So now... Yeah, so we are playing this, so we are ignoring three of that damage, so two plus... Uh, damn. Uh, so we take two, but we'll deal three. And the last card. Golden Horse, attached to the villain with the fewest hit points, without aerial trait. After... Uh, you saw that can't have it, these others can, so after Pestilence takes you, if... Uh, okay. We'll put it on death. Uh, I mean Pestilence. No, we'll put it on Famine. Okay, so that was the villain phase and... Uh, Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, we just need six damage on this guy. Oh yeah, this should move here. Should have moved here. Okay. So six damage here, five damage here. I'm not sure we can do that this round. We don't have enough to play the full body charge. Uh, but we can play the basic spell. So three, six, three, we're three damage short. Oh yeah, we can play the... Uh, 
Oh yeah, and uh, retaliate for one. Uh, it doesn't matter, but my math is saying that... Oh yeah, we need to deal one damage to famine also. Okay, um... Okay, I'm hitting for three damage. Uh, hitting... Uh, I'm thwarting for two. And I'm playing... I'm using gold balls to play stepping disc, putting Colossus on top of my deck. Could actually take the magic barrier. Yeah, I think Colossus is a bit too slow. Uh, I need. I, I think we need to go to Alter Ego. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, we'll just get rid of this. Oh yeah, but now we lose the magic barrier. Okay. We'll hit death down to... No. We'll hit uh, war down to two. We'll go to Alter Ego. And uh, yeah, uh, we don't have Colossus in our hand. We only have the full body charge. That's bad. Okay. We draw back up to six. We have a uh, Tempus, Blood Rage, Stepping Disc, Basic Spell, Magic Barrier, and a full body charge. So now we have basically the cards to defeat everything if we survive the villain phase. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add two threat here because of this. And uh, Pestilence is two plus. Uh, after this activation results, place one Pursuit counter on the Pursuit by the path. Okay, that's okay. So two. Okay, that's that's fine. Everything's fine. Encounter card is nowhere is safe. Oh yeah, this moves here. Okay, so nowhere is safe. When revealed, place one pursuit counter on the pursuit by the past. Then, if it has any counters, and discard an upgrade or support you control. Mm. Oh yeah, what's uh, we don't know. We don't care. I'm discarding the limbo. Yeah. Okay, and this gets one counter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after you place a pursuit counter here, if their number of counters here is at least three more, than the number of players. So one more. Uh, okay, that's good. So that is that villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so we need to basically deal two here, two here, and just hit here. So we can play Tempest to just hit there, and basic spell and just hit. So that's game. So uh, we'll just flip over to hero mode.
we place the stepping disc on top of our deck and uh, we'll play we'll use this and this to play tempos tempos will no. uh, we'll play stepping no we'll hit two damage here we'll play the stepping disc with the stepping disc and uh, ready and put might as well put magic barrier on top then we'll hit for two damage here and tempos will finish off famine so this activates and we discard the top 10 cards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and that is the game we defeated the four horsemen with magic uh, pre-built aggression and I really enjoyed this scenario. It's really uh, fun, at least in true solo. It might be more chaotic in multiplayer, but in true solo, this is quite a fun, fun scenario to play. It, it reminds me a bit of the one in Sinister Motives with um, Sinister Six. So it's quite the same kind of multi-villain scenario. But yeah, that was uh, the uh, second scenario in the Age of Apocalypse campaign box with Magic's pre-built aggression deck. Hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.